In this problem, we have object A, a circle, that's following a circular path at a constant angular velocity around this expanding and contracting inner object with point B on its outside edge. So B is going in and out from the center that we call O. We're asked to find what the velocity and acceleration of point B would appear to be from an observer on the small circle at point A. So this is a rotating axes problem. We're going to attach our rotating axes to point A. And we're going to orient them this way. Why we're doing that? It's because it simplifies a few things. We can see R of A with respect to O, this vector, becomes a vector with only one component. And R B with respect to O also becomes a vector with only one component. So that's simplifying things. So we're given an expression for the radius of the inner circle as a function of the position of point A in degrees. So that's R equals 0 0.45 minus 0 0.15 sine theta. We're also given that omega of A which is going to equal to big omega, since it's our rotating frame as well, equals theta dot in the minus k hat equals minus omega k hat, or k hat prime. Make them both primes. We're given that large omega dot equals theta double dot equals alpha equals zero because we're told omega is constant and we're told that theta equals 45 degrees at the instant we're considering. So let's figure out what are the kinematics of B and A in the absolute frame or fixed frame. So in the fixed frame, we can look at the kinematics of point B. We see that R B with respect to O is going to be R B with respect to O equals R in the minus J hat prime. And that's going to be equal to minus 0 0.45 plus 0 0.15 sine theta j hat prime. The velocity of b is going to be r dot, also in the minus j hat prime. And that's going to be plus 0 0.15. cos theta, theta dot, in the j hat prime. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.15 cos theta minus omega in the j hat prime. So remember, theta dot is in the positive k, omega is in the negative k, and we can find that that equals negative 0 0.15 omega over root 2, the j hat prime. If we want to find the acceleration of b, well, that's going to be r double dot minus j hat prime. Remember, b is just going in and out. It's following along this path. So it only has a minus j hat component. That's going to be equal to negative 0 0.15 
sine theta, theta dot squared in a j hat prime. And that's the only term we have since theta double dot equals zero. As we discussed before, a has a constant angular velocity. So that's going to be equal to negative 0 0.15 sine theta minus omega all squared j hat prime. And we can rewrite that as minus 0 0.15 one five omega squared over root two j hat prime we can find the positions couple position vectors r a with respect to o is going to be 0 0.8 in the i hat prime and that's meters And R, B with respect to A, is going to be minus R, A with respect to O, plus R, B with respect to O, equals minus 0 0.8 in the I hat prime, minus a 0 0.45, minus 0 0.15 over root 2, this is the evaluation of R at theta equals 45 degrees. And if we work this out at 0.344 meters in the J hat prime. Then we can find the kinematics of A. So again, in the fixed frame, VA equals omega cross r a with respect to o. So a is rotating around a circle. It's as if it's part of a rigid body pinned at o, so it's only pure rotation. This gives us minus 0 0.8 omega in the j hat prime. And the acceleration of a, again, constant angular velocity, so we only have centripetal acceleration minus omega squared r a with respect to o equals omega squared sorry, minus 0 0.8 omega squared i hat prime. This is because alpha equals zero. <clears throat> Now we found all of our fixed frame velocities. What we're asked to find is the relative velocity of V observed from A and the relative acceleration of V observed from A. So we're going to use those relative frame, sorry. So we're going to use those rotating frame equations. So our rotating frame velocity, we're going to write VB equals VA plus our big omega of the rotating frame cross R B with respect to A plus the velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame. Again, this is what we're asked to find. We can sub in the values we found, 0 0.15 omega over root 2 in the j hat prime equals 0 0.8 negative omega in the j hat prime, that's VA, plus negative omega in the k hat prime crossed with RB with respect to A, so that's negative 0 0.8 i hat prime minus 0 0.8. 3, 4, 4, j hat prime, plus the velocity of b with respect to a in the rotating frame. 
Now we're going to do this cross product. We get minus 0 0.5 omega over root 2 j hat prime equals minus 0 0.8 omega j hat prime plus 0 0.8 omega j hat prime minus 0 0.344 omega i hat prime plus the velocity of b with respect to a in the row. These two cancel. And we can find that the velocity of B with respect to A in the rotating frame equals 0 0.344 omega I hat prime minus 0 0.15 omega over root 2 J hat prime. We're given that omega equals 0 0.4 rads per second. And so we can express this final relative velocity as 0 0.138 i hat prime minus 0 0.042 a hat prime meters per second. Now we've done everything in i hat prime and j hat prime. So all of our vectors have to be in the same coordinate system. We've chosen to do it in our rotating frame coordinate system, but we could also have it expressed in I hat, J hat, and that's V, B with respect to A in the rotating frame equals 0 0.127 I hat, plus 0 0.068 j hat meters per second. All right, so we found the velocity that we would, that B would appear to have if we were sitting on A as A rotates around the circle. Now we're gonna find rotating frame acceleration. So again, we're going to write down our rotating frame equation. The acceleration of point B equals the acceleration of A plus big omega dot cross R B with respect to A minus big omega squared R B with respect to A plus 2 omega cross v, v with respect to a in the rotating frame plus a, v with respect to a in the rotating frame. And again, this is the term that we want to find. How you would view the acceleration of b if you were sitting on a. We've got one simplification to make, which is that um, big omega dot is zero. This is since omega equals constant. So there's no angular acceleration. All right, so let's plug in what we know. This is 0 0.15 omega squared over root 2, a hat prime, equals minus 0 0.8 omega squared in the i hat prime. That's a a minus negative omega squared r b with respect a which is negative 0 0.8 in the i hat prime minus 0 0.344 in the j hat prime that's this term then we'll get plus 2 negative omega in the k hat prime cross the expression that we found just above. So that's 0 0.138 i hat prime minus 0 0.042 j hat prime. Again, we have to have all of our terms expressed in one coordinate system or the other. And then last but not least, we have the term that we're looking for, acceleration of b with respect to a in the rotating frame. 
So we're going to do out these cross products. We'll have 0 0.15 omega squared over root 2 in the j hat prime equals minus 0 0.8 omega squared i hat prime plus 0 0.8 omega squared i hat prime. These two cancel plus 0 0.34 omega squared j hat prime minus 2 omega times 0 0.138 in the j hat prime minus 2 omega times 0 0.042 in the i hat prime plus our acceleration of b with respect to a in the way. So if we gather the terms, we can say the acceleration of B with respect to A in the rotating frame is equal to 2 omega 0.042 in the I hat prime plus 2 omega times 0 0.138 minus 0 0.15 omega squared over root 2 minus 0 0.344 omega squared, all in the j hat prime. And if we work that out, we find the acceleration of b with respect to a in the rotating frame equals 0 0.034 i hat prime plus 0 0.038 j hat prime meters per second squared. Again, we've done this all in our rotating frame coordinate system. We could also express this in i hat, j hat as the acceleration of b with respect to a in the rotating frame equals negative 0.003 i hat plus 0.051 j hat meters per second squared.